All right, guys, I'm going to show y'all how I do my 2022 Idaho backcountry uh, pack. Um, this is the Mystery Ranch Beartooth. I believe it's right around 6,000 um, uh, cubic inches of space. And uh, I think it's close to like 57. I can easily squeeze about five, maybe six days out of this pack. Um, and that's probably the limit. You could probably do a little bit more if you were uh, carried a little bit less. But um, I'm going to show you how I organize my pack, put it all into my pack, and how I carry my pack and, and why I do the things the way I do. Everybody does a little bit differently. Every time I've hunted, uh, I've changed it up just to try to see. And um, I'm going to run this system this year and see how it does. So uh, first things first, it's an empty pack. Um, this bag has a 270 degree zipper, which I like. It's easy for you know dumping out all of your gear when you're when you get to camp, but I can open it up so that you can see. Inside I have two internal mesh pockets. The only thing I have in here, there's a pair of merino uh, long sleeve top and long sleeve bottom. I just shoved those in. Those are my backup, like what I sleep in. Um, and then I would put an extra pair of socks in here also and an extra pair of underwear uh, that I could switch out throughout the day. Um, and then up here is just a repair kit. It's nice and lightweight. It's just got some like, um, uh, Teflon tape, some of those like repair tape, uh, uh, the uh, patches that I had in the military just to repair stuff and um, it's all lightweight and I just carry that inside here and some extra like velcro straps, stuff like that that I need. All of that goes into here. So the bag itself, it's got a water um, bladder pocket so this is a platypus three liter bag. So this will slide just in here and this just clips right over and you have ports on the top left and right to run your hose out so you can run it either way. I run mine out the left. I'm left handed so or I, with the way you're looking at it on this side of the pack it comes out from my left shoulder and then I clip it onto my um, bag but there we are. And now. What I'll do is I'm just going to loosen up these bottom straps just so I can get the most amount of room out of the bottom of the bag. So the bottom of the bag, first thing I always do is I put my sleep system. Uh, and my sleep system um, I put into a dry bag. This is just one that Sitka used to make or had or uh, for a while. Um, so I'll compress my sleeping bag. This is a Volandre Goose Down sleeping bag. Uh, this will go into here. Put that long ways, as well as my pillow. Um, this is my sleeping bag liner. I have a backup pillow or one that I put between my legs. Uh, and all of those will go into here. I care about these more or less getting wet than anything else. My sleeping pad I don't really care about because I can, I can do without that or I can dry it off. Uh, but my sleeping bag I would much rather keep nice and dry. So. I will shove this down into this pack. I'm sorry, I may have to turn this pack to where I can get to it. All I'm doing is just organizing that, fitting it all down in there so it all fits nice and neat and, and um, tucks in there how we want. So, um, next thing I'll take my sleeping pad, the Climate Velux. I'll just shove this down into the side right next to it just so it's down there at the bottom uh, and then we can work the bag like this. So I'm going to zip up this zipper from the bottom and that pretty much takes up the bottom third of my bag right there, my entire sleep system. Um, what's next is basically up to you, however I'm trying to get my heaviest weight towards the higher portion of my back. I don't want it too low and I don't want it too high. So I want it towards the mid, mid section of my back. Um, at this point though, I start to shove in stuff that I can use as fillers, I like my stove. Uh, I'll find the spot just down in here off the side. For the long portion of the bag where I'll stuff stuff, this is a saw, a folding buck saw. I'll shove this down on this side all the way down on the side just so I can get to it really quickly on my 270 degree zipper, pull it out. Um, and then I have a Helinox chair. Let me find where I put it. Where is it? 
under the bag. Oh, it's under the bag? Here it is. Here we go. A Helinox chair, camp chair, zero. Uh, very lightweight. Shove this down in here. I don't really need this until I get to camp, so I shove it off to the side to where I don't really need it. Um, this bag here is medicine, um, tourniquets, uh, more uh, patches, gloves, uh, toothbrush, extra spoons, stuff like that, like a bathroom kind of style kit. Um, I'll shove this down in here into one of the spaces that I have where I find room. And now we're almost about halfway, so now I'm going to put the heaviest portion of my bag in, which is five days worth of food. This is also in a dry bag. These are individually bagged like this. I label them day one through however many. Uh, run five days at a time, put another five days of food worth of food um, in another dry bag stash in a tree. We can go back and get it later if we need it. Um, but five days worth of food is going to go in. Now on the side of my food, game bags. These are elk size game bags. Um, I'll put those right there on the side. Uh, let's see here. Um, anything else that I need major wise, I'm trying to see most of the stuff I'll put on the outside. Um, if you have any other kind of odds and ends, I've still got plenty of room. Like here's some uh, rain gear pants that I may or may not bring, just depends some chargers for your phone, stuff like that. I can, these are all really good stuffers that I can stuff down on the side of the food and anywhere else that I need. Oops. Okay, so coming up to the top, I still have a pretty good bit of room up at the top, um, which I could put my tarp in here if I wanted to. That'll just fold right in there, nice and neat. On top, we carry that tarp just for glassing, so on and so forth. Um, and then my puffy jacket will go on top, along with maybe a mid-layer or uh, any kind of other jacket that I want to store in here. I can just stuff right in on top. That way I can get to it quickly and efficiently. Um, now I could store this puffy and like its own pocket like the Sitka pocket it folds up into or a stuff sack but I'll just throw it in there just like that um, and then uh, this is a another Sitka jacket it's just a mid layer I'll just shove this one in here also just so they're both right here on the top readily available if I need them and now zip this sucker up. So now there's the top. So this bag has two compression tops over the top, two compression bags over the top. If you wanted to lay something here, say I didn't have enough room for like a tent, like I don't have a tent in here because we're carrying a tent in another buddy's bag, but I could run the tent on top or I could run the tent on bottom. Uh, normally I ran it on bottom, but top is an easy way to do it too, or you can carry your bugle tube up there. Um, now this backpack does have a back pocket right here. And the only thing I put in there is a knife. This is just a, a, a 1095 high carbon steel knife all around use as a camp. You can use it as like, you can baton it to beat up wood or uh, cut up wood for your stove or uh, whatever. It's just a great all around knife, but then you can also use it for skinny game. And then I also carry some extra 550 paracord up here for quick access, tie food up, uh, tie that tarp up, whatever you need. That's just a small little pocket right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cinch these top ones down, get this load nice and tight, or taut, however you wanna say it. Okay, so now moving on to the bag. Um, we have our external pocket here, which I will take puffy pants. Um, these are just some first light puffy pants. I'll shove these all the way down to the bottom of this. Nice and puffy. Let me see here. Rain jacket is gonna be next. Just some Sitka rain gear. 
something quick access I can get into if I need it. Um, and then I have room for whatever else up top if I want, like some, some wet wipes if I don't want to carry those in my lid or vice versa. Um, and once I shove those over, I can either put my kill kit, this is my kill kit, just has knives, tags, you know, um, rubber bands, zip ties, trash bags, anything that you can imagine right here ready to go. So I may throw that right in here on the side just so it's nice, quick, easy access to get to. Uh, most of these other clothes, like this is a jet stream jacket. This is something that I will put on top, roll it up and put it underneath my lid. I'll show you how I do that. Every other piece of clothing I'm wearing. Um, and then the lid is going to be separate. So the lid uh, has two compartments on it. It's a two style lid. On one side I carry um, gloves, beanie, um, extra gloves, thinner gloves, uh, all kinds of stuff I carry in there. I carry a fire kit, matches, slider, uh, fair serum rod, um, waterproof matches, stuff like that. I'll throw like a little elk call in there. Um, a headlamp and then you have room for other stuff. Uh, normally up here at the top what I'll do is I'll shove some toilet paper. I like to bring both regular TP and um, wet wipes. Um, that's just the way I like to use this first and then follow up with that. It's the easiest way. But then it's also a backup tender bundle, you know, an emergency if I needed quick fire. We got TP, so uh, as long as it stays dry, of course, uh, that's your only uh, downfall with TP. And then on the other side, um, I have a water kit. I've got an extra water bladder in there. I've got a water filter, two water filters, two or three actually water filters, a spoon, um, and then I carry an extra headlamp on this side. And that way I always have two headlamps. Um, I carry extra batteries in that internal bag that had those uh, repair kits. Um, and then anything else up there if I wanted, I have plenty of room still. I could throw snacks in there. Um, you know, I could throw whatever I wanted right there on top. And then um, going up on the bag, which let's tighten these bottom straps down real quick. Okay, going up to the top of the bag. So I'll take my jet stream jacket. This is a windproof jacket. This thing is a beast. Um, so I could either strap it under these two compression straps that I did, or I can just throw it right on top of my lid. Let me see which way we go here. My lid will uh, hold on to it pretty well. If I was really worried about it, I would strap it down, but this lid, you can get pretty, pretty, pretty doggone tight once you get it there. And now this lid has straps up from the side or excuse me, from the bottom. So many straps. Um, I can put these up. I'm gonna leave these a little bit looser for now, just for the heck of it. Um, so on the side of the bag, if I um, carry trucking poles, I just throw them on the side. If I want them out, then it's easy and I can just fold up their carrier. But you have three compression straps on this on this uh, bag. Um, and it just holds it really, really tight. So I like to just throw them there and then if I need them. Normally I don't use trekking poles just walking in. It's really downhill carrying heavy loads. Um, or is where I really use them because that really helps my knees. There we go. And then on the other side, we have the same thing. We have a compression pocket, tripod for glassing. Shove that down in there as best you can. Oops, this one's undone. Shove that down in. And then we strap it in. The second strap I've already got done too. And then I have this third strap which I can normally take this extra strap along with a carabiner and hook on my Crocs, carry my Crocs in. There we go. Just like that. And now on the front of the bag, 
you have two compression straps that come across the front. If you wanted to carry your rifle right there, you could. I carry a glassing pad, that way I've got orange on me, hunter safety, or if I'm not worried about it, I can flip it over and it's green. But uh, it's, got mesh, uh, it's got mesh woven straps on each side, so I'll take these straps and feed them through. Connect them to their opposite side. Same thing here. Nice and strapped. And there, everything is strapped down. So on this hip belt, I carry a Kafaru water bottle, water bottle holder. Um, the Molly fit in really well with my uh, waist belt. Um, on this side, I carry an extra pouch. It's just a little pouch. It's got a quick little blow up seat pad if I needed to use it, if I lost this pad for whatever reason, or if I was using it for a uh, rifle rest and I wanted something on my knees or on my belly, I've got this, and it's also gonna be used as a backup uh, pillow if you really needed it. And then I've got extra room in there while I normally carry a knife, which I don't know where it's at. And then also a backup magazine for my pistol that I carry on my chest, some uh, earplugs. Um, and then my gun is held off the Kafaro Gunslinger. If you've never looked this thing up, I highly recommend it. The Kafaro Gunslinger is awesome. The, the, your gun rides like this. The butt goes, uh, leans back, and then you've got a clip system right here. It's really nice. It's phenomenal. We'll get a shot of that before we're done with this video. But uh, there's my pack with five days, 65 pounds or so, just like that. Uh, I still got a little room since I just threw everything in there really quick. If you, I've actually took the time to organize stuff down at the bottom and squeeze it in just right. I can shove in extra clothes. I can shove in you know all kinds of extra gear. Um, uh, that fits in there nice. I, my binos I carry on my chest the entire time with the Razco um, holster. So those are always there. The rest of my clothes are on my body. And if not, I've got extra room, like I said, to throw them in anywhere else. And then we have the straps on the bottom, which we never even use. So if I were to need to carry something else besides um, game, because the bag will separate and use the meat shelf, uh, like a tent or a stove or anything like that, we can strap it to the bottom. But um, here we go, let's throw the pack on real quick. All right, so here's my pack on my back. Um, my rifle is a Vigara 6.5 PRC. It's just in this um, cover. Uh, you can carry this multiple ways. You can carry this on each pouch on the side of your bag if you wanted to, or in the middle of your bag on the back, there's a compression straps that you can strap it down. I, however, like the Kafaru Gunslinger, um, which can fit almost any pack, because they're universal, or they can do the um, Molly system, but it's just a pouch that holds the butt of your gun, and then you have a strap system up here by your shoulder with a um, pull to release, um, switch let me just feed this through real quick and so what I like about this is once I snap it down it completely keeps my hands free uh, so I can be tracking no problem you're gonna have a little bit of limited visibility because your guns right there but now it's keeping the weight of my gun off of my pack um, so instead it's it's all it's using basically support off your shoulder and your hip so you really don't feel it as much uh, you just gotta, you know, if you got a really big scope, you just have to watch it because your scope can uh, is going to be right there. But uh, totally hands-free, walking in, climbing through brush, dipping down low. This gun is 100% protected. You know, it's not going to do anything. And then if I was, say I was hunting and I didn't have my cover on, this um, is a quick release. Just quickly pull and your gun's up and you're ready to shoot. And then you can throw it right back in there. And then if, you know, if you wanted to carry it somewhere else, this doesn't even bother you. And if you wanted to take it off, it's just Velcro. So it's all nice and easy. And uh, that's how the system goes on. And then, like I said, I was wearing my bino harness here, which I don't have strapped up with a Razco holster. So I, I carry a nine millimeter right here. 
That's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe to uh, Justin and Hannah.